you guys, so it's that time again, November favorites. Well, it's not again, I don't even know if I've ever done a November favorites video. I think my first favorites video maybe was October favorites last year, and then I ended up starting doing them this year. Kind of, I don't think I've missed one since June. I've kind of tried to really get these um, filmed and up. I'm really sad because I just got back from New York and I left my camera charger because According to me, I was going to like film a vlog there, and it, we did film a little bit, but then it's not enough really to make it like into a vlog, so I don't know if I'm even going to upload it, so let me know if you are interested in like seeing a vlog with me and my friends and me kind of like around New York, aka just in my friend's apartment because I never took it out. It's just kind of like awkward to like film in the middle of, you know, something when your friends don't really understand and you don't want to be like the weirdo filming. You know so uh, anyways this is November favorites and I really tried to narrow it down like a lot so that I'm only going to recommend things that I'm like currently using like every single day if not every single day then like on the weekends or something that I've been loving because I looked at my October favorites and it was so long. It was 17 minutes long. And I know I'm talking right now, and I, but I promise it's not going to be long. Um, and I was just kind of like, oh, God, I don't use that anymore. Oh, crap. I, I didn't really like that that much. So basically, I just really want to give you guys, even though my video is going to be shorter, it's going to be uh, better products that I really, really, really have been using and loving. I do want to go ahead and say something about my October favorites video because the Revlon foundation that I was like raving about, um, it kind of broke me out and I've stopped using it. So I'm really sorry. I, like I said before, I'm going to try to use them for a little bit longer, um, before I recommend things to you guys in my favorites videos. So, um, I'm sorry if like you went out and bought that and then broke out. That was not my intention, obviously. I didn't know. I used it for about, I had only been using it for about like a week when I recommended it to you guys and it was probably like two days after that when I started seeing breakouts and I'm not someone that like breaks out. So I was like, oh crap, it's the foundation. So, you know, you don't win everything. So anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start and I'm going to start off with the Lorac Pro Palette and this is the palette that I picked up during the Sephora friends and family sale and um, I honestly am super obsessed with this and I'm not just saying that because I have been using it every single day and I promise and um, I knew that I was gonna like it because it has all of these um, amazing matte colors so I'll go ahead and show this to you guys um, I've been using this one which is uh, nude a lot it's a really pretty pink highlight and then I've been using this one, taupe, mauve, and sable a lot in like my crease and kind of really blending those in. And those are very matte, so I've just been really liking how it has been showing up on my eyes. And I've been liking to use even these matte colors up there. And these are just, all of these shimmery colors are absolutely gorgeous. This one, um, the pewter is really pretty because it's a little bit, I don't really have anything like it. There's nothing like that in the Naked palette that is even just close to it so um so yeah I really 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 enjoy this palette and it's only I think $42 or maybe a little bit less so um I really uh recommend that even if you have the naked palette it's very different um and I what I like about it too is it has other different colors like it has this really pretty uh blue and this really pretty kind of burnt orange color so you're not like I feel like a lot of palettes have come out in the in like the recent year trying to be the naked palette but kind of not you know you can't you're not going to remake the naked palette because the naked palette is amazing and it's, you're not really going to be able to be, beat it and I think Lorac Lorac whatever it's called did a really good job um really uh doing something different and doing something very wearable and just doing something with a lot of mattes and I know that the naked uh, palette just came out, Urban Decay just came out again with a new Naked that is all mattes and I just said no because I was like I'm so happy with this. Uh, I don't really think that that was a good decision on their part to just do a matte one. I actually would have liked a palette by them um, in 
with a mixture of mattes and again the shimmers because they do the shimmers so well. So I did not buy the Naked uh, 3 or whatever they're calling it, the nudes, the mattes, whatever. So uh, moving on, and I did mention this in my Sephora haul, the same one. This is also another friends and family purchase and I ha I'm just obsessed with these lipsticks and I'm actually wearing it right now. Um, and this one is the YSL Rouge Volupte, Rouge Volupte in um, number 17 and I think it's called Red Muse and I did... I'll link my Sephora um, haul down below. It was just the friends and family haul. And I just think this is an amazing color. And I kind of bought it more thinking like the holidays and stuff. And I have been wearing it like a lot. I've been wearing it um, every time that I go out, every time that I like in the evening. It is a little bit too much for the day. And something that I've been loving to do with, to do with that lip gloss is pairing it with this um, Lorac. I've been loving Lorac lately. Lorac Lip. Um, it's called the Sweet Temptations Gloss. And I actually picked this lip gloss. Um, and this is in the color uh, Candy Apple. Um, I actually picked this lip gloss on here. You can see the little brush. And I'll swatch it. There it is. Sorry, my lighting is like really bad. Um, so I picked this up in a really amazing deal set and I'll link it down below as I always link everything. Um, so I'll link this down below. It was this and five more lip glosses. They're full size. They're beautiful. They have awesome pigmentation. I wasn't, I didn't want to show you every single one because to be honest, this is the only one that I've been like absolutely using because I just bought this set not even a week ago. I bought it like last Wednesday. It was like the day before I left for New York. So, um, this one is really nice, and then I used another one. I'm not, I forget the color, but it's in my purse and whatever. It's they, it comes with a great variety. Uh, I couldn't say no to something that was $25, even though I know I have a lot of lip glosses. Um, it was $25, and I really wanted a red one. And I was like, whatever. I mean, this is if this is a really nice lip gloss, you know, I might as well pay $25 and then get five nice lip glosses on the side. And it has a lot of really nice, like nudish, pinkish colors, and then another kind of a dark berry that's so pretty. So, I really recommend that. It's just called the Sweet Temptation uh, Lip Gloss Set, and you can find it at Ulta and Sephora, I think, and maybe somewhere else. I'm not really sure. All right, uh, so another item that I had from my Sephora haul um, is this uh, Dior Creme de Rose Lip Gloss Lipstick. No, lip gloss, sorry. It's a lip balm, not a lipstick. Uh, and this is what it looks like. And I've been using this just like kind of nightly. And um, I was like, I've been applying it like pretty generally, but then I kind of stopped because um, I was applying it a lot. And then I realized that it's there's not that much product in it. Um, it's only, let's see, uh, 0.25 ounces. And I thought that like, I mean, you see this like pot. I thought it was, this was like the whole pot, but then this is like hollow in here. So I've already hit pan on this lip balm and it's a little bit expensive. So I've been trying to like not really use it as generously, but it's still working really well. My lips are really hydrated. Um, and I've been really liking this and this was an original recommendation from Miss, Miss Glamorazzi and I'm so happy that I took the recommendation that I bought it because it is worth the splurge. Um, it's definitely something luxurious. You don't need it, but if you like to kind of pamper yourself and just do something nice at, at night, you know, after you have like all your makeup off and, you know, do your entire skincare routine and put this on, it is just like kind of like a treat and it makes your lips feel really soft and smooth. So I recommend that Dior Creme de Rose as well. And then now I have um, a drugstore mascara and this is going, this is uh, another Maybelline mascara. You know that I, if you watch me, you guys know that I'm obsessed with the Falsies mascara. Um, so this is the Colossal Volume Express in Waterproof and this mascara has just been lasting super long. Um, I want to actually go and pick up the cat eyes one because I've heard better things about that one. Um, this one is really good and I actually noticed it because I picked it up and kind of just wanted to try it out and then um, I was at the gym really late with my friend Heather one of the nights and I was like, oh my god, my mascara is still on. She was like, yeah, like is it waterproof? And I was like, probably, but it was also really long and really curled. I do curl my lashes every day. Um, but this actually made them extra curly, added a lot of volume, and I've actually just been using this first and then like filling in with the falsies at the end. So the last but not least, I have been using a new perfume, and I'm still using um, Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift, and that's been like kind of like my go-to for the past couple of years, and I, it's just one of those perfumes that 
it's like a me. Um, I, in the summer, I kind of tend to use the Dolce & Gabbana light blue, and I've just always been a person um, that I get complimented on of like my scents. I don't know if it's just like something about the way my skin mixes with scents, but um, I get always get compliments like, "Oh, you smell so good!" Like, "What are you wearing?" And um, I do get it with Henry Bendel. I'm sorry, with the Wonderstruck a lot, and now I've been using this one from Henry Bendel. Um, Bendel's, whatever, they have store, they have a big department store in New York City that is like, if you're a girl and you're girly, don't go there because you will like spend every penny you've ever made there. It is heaven, it is heaven on earth. But um, this Bendel's perfume is the Gardenia and Vanilla scent and it smells so good. This is definitely like a winter perfume. I would not wear this in the summer. Um, it smells absolutely, absolutely delicious. This is actually my mom's and I stole it from her because uh, she was like, it's a little too much for me. Uh, it doesn't smell really vanilla -y. I would say it picks up more of like the lighter floral scent. So I really, really, really like this and I have been getting compliments on it a lot. So that was it. Those are my only favorites. I've kind of been sticking to my normal favorites for hair and also um, my skincare. I've just recently changed it back to Dior, but again, I didn't want to recommend at the full product line until I've been using it for, for a while. Um, so anyways, yeah, that's it. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Please subscribe if you have not. And also like this video, you know, give it a thumbs up if you do like it. Um, and I really appreciate you guys watching and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.